So now we have some questions for you based upon what we said here, because we know we're sort of reaching around, reaching for the place where you could feel it sort of settling in for you. We were demonstrating with you through this conversation as we're reaching around, what we think would be a good idea for all of you to do is as you're trying to find your place in things. So we're just going to ask you how these thoughts feel as we present them to you. We're going to speak from your point of view. I create my own reality. How does that feel? Great. I'm doing a good job of creating my own reality. Yes, that's, that's good. There is more for me to learn about creating my own reality. Once more. There is more for me to learn about creating my own reality. I think so. I feel how that feels compared to this. I know everything I need to know about creating my own reality. That feels better. It's fun practicing creating my own reality. Also better. It is through life experience that I'm able to feel how it is I'm creating my own reality. Mm -hmm. I adore every opportunity to feel what I'm doing in the moment. I acknowledge that in some moments I'm more tuned in and guided than others. There's nothing wrong with me being in a moment when I'm not intuitively guided. I like the experience of being tuned into that higher frequency. Feels good. When I'm yeah. tuned into that higher frequency, I'm guided toward, and this is the important distinction. When you are tuned into that higher frequency, you are not guided to what someone else wants for you. You are guided to what you have put into the vortex that you want for you. Can you feel the distinction? Mm -hmm. When I am in sync with who I really am, there's clarity within me. That clarity is the impulse that moves me through my day, that moves me through my space and time that moves me through my conversations. Nothing is more important to me than that clarity as I'm moving through my space and time. I experience continually manifestations that give me new desire for clarity, which kind of dovetailing back into something that we were talking about earlier, because the desire never ends. As I'm moving through my day, I'm constantly bumping up against things that help me to identify more desire. The desire that is most powerfully within me right now is the desire to discover my own clarity. It is. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that you've been wanting most, you see. These things that have happened to me are indications that I'm not doing a good job at this feels awful doesn't it yes. these things that have happened to me are indications of the power of my desire to understand this my desire is a little ahead of my keeping up with it that's always what causes those bumps you've got desire that's out ahead of your expectation to align with it which means this cruise this gathering this seminar is a perfect place for you to be and that is in fact why you have been looking forward to it we're fine-tuning here friends those of you who are listening in for the first time are probably having a little bit of difficulty adjusting to the idea that you live in a vibrational world but once you associate vibration and emotion and you recognize that that larger part of you is calling you toward that good feeling and that when you find that good feeling you found that higher flying vibration and that when you found that higher flying vibration that you've accessed more power and when you've accessed more power and more momentum when the momentum is really moving fast don't you want more definition of where you're going Esther's got a little Audi R8 and it goes really really fast <laughs> and when she's moving it down the highway really really fast down the highway it's important that she is paying attention to what's out ahead of her because it's coming fast so this is the same sort of thing so do you prefer fast momentum or slow momentum 
We like that you're being thoughtful about this. Yes, uh, momentum is momentum is momentum. Yes, profound. Uh, it's a slow momentum, I think, because it. Do you prefer the momentum to be faster or slower? Slower, I think, but I don't understand the question. Well, it was a trick question, <laughs> but here's what we're getting at. I prefer fast momentum. We say, then you must be someone who's been waking up on the high flying disc. You must be someone who's practicing it. You must be up to speed with that momentum. So you're ready for it. But if you're wanting the momentum to be slower, then that's because you're not, in other words, the more you are practicing this higher flying momentum, then the more the skills of focusing that you already have in place. We know that you prefer the faster momentum to the slower momentum because it's more exciting. There's more passion in it. There's more opportunity for exhilaration within it. The higher, faster momentum is always what is sought after most. But if you are focused upon something not wanted, you don't want faster momentum. You want slower momentum. If you want to speed things, then give more attention to it. That makes it go faster. If you want to slow things, then give less attention. The more detailed attention makes it go faster. The more general attention makes it go slower. And so if something is moving along very fast and it is turning into manifestations of unwanted things, then that's an indication that you want to slow that momentum, which means you want to get really general about it. You don't want to try to define with any sort of precision what's going on. What did I do wrong? What could I have done differently? Because all that does mm -hmm. is activate that vibration and keep more of that coming. That's when you want to step into a more general place and say things like all is well with me. These are clarifying moments. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting better and better at this things generally really go very well for me it's odd that something has gone off for me like that to have two sort of anomalies like this is an indication of what and this is what we're getting at is it an indication of your wrong thought or is it an indication that you're moving into a new place that you are not yet vibrationally stable within that's really the point that we want you to understand mm -hmm. because because you can hardly reach for anything and you can be really stable within it and you're going to find boredom which is another kind of instability you want to control how fast you go but you want to be in control of how fast you go that's really what we're wanting to say to you and so isn't it all fun aren't you enjoying being the deliberate and sometimes the indeliberate creator of your own reality <laughs> and in any case isn't it all interesting doesn't it all give you feedback and information and in any case has anything gone so terribly wrong and don't you just love knowing what you want and you're going to love knowing what you want even more when you gain that confidence that you can maintain the vibrational frequency of what you want mm -hmm. there isn't anything that we would rather for you to experience than conscious awareness that you are vibrationally out of sync with what you want because how are you going to know when you are vibrationally in sync with what you want if you can't feel the experience of being vibrationally out of sync with what you want so there are two ways of knowing what you're doing vibrationally the first and the preferred way is by being aware of how you feel the second is by seeing what manifests so if something manifests unwanted and you didn't see it coming then that means you haven't been vibrationally aware of what's going on and don't you love knowing that mm -hmm. doesn't he represent everyone in the room in that regard aren't you enjoying isn't the contrast serving you whether it is wanted or unwanted contrast don't you want to get to the place where you embrace all of it where you are appreciating the ability to define what you want now that you are gathering more conscious awareness of knowing where you stand within that relationship we really want you to remember that through your life experience you have created a vibrational reality that is a bright and joyous path and that when you are in vibrational sync with it 
even though you haven't reached the manifestation, the manifestation may be a ways down the road. Just being on the path of that, which you want will give you joy in every moment that you're on the path. You don't have to be at the manifestation point in order to have the joy. That really is the most significant thing that we will say to you in all of the days that we are together. You don't have to have the manifestation wanted or unwanted in order to know that you're on the path. You don't have to wait until you've cut your finger to know that you have some stuff going on that you didn't want to have going on. And you don't have to have whatever it is. The Audi R8 Esther wants a jet. Now you don't, you don't have got jet fever you don't have to have you don't have to have the manifestation of it in order to feel the joy you just can't be contradicting the vibration of the desire you see how it works this was a leading edge conversation today we are pleased to announce that you are primarily up to speed with it it is exhilarating to us to feel you following along we know that we've been repetitive today because today was the day of establishing the basis of that which we are all about. Mm. So much demonstration of alignment before you. We are enjoying this interaction immensely and we're having fun with you along your way. We would like you to consider this. As this day unfolds and someone is particularly clever and funny and you're finding yourself really, really enjoying them. Stop in the middle of that enjoyment and acknowledge I'm feeling what source is feeling about this right now. When an idea comes to you and there are many that will be pulsing into your mind in the next hours, when an idea comes to you, that gives you that feeling of exhilaration, like a new thought that you have not thought before, a new thought about something that is interesting to you when you think about it. Stop for just a moment and say, this is a thought that source is thinking about me, about things that are important to me. And I'm in the vibrational vicinity. And so I'm in on that thought. There is just for a little while, just until we meet again, which is not that far away. Notice how much of that, which is us is enjoying what you're about in the here and now, because what you're about to discover is that there is no separation between that, which is physical and non-physical other than that negative thought that in your physical body, you find, you see, you have the opportunity to tap in to a mastermind of well-being, to a mastermind of love and clarity and passion. If there was ever a time to tap into it, we would say to you, friends, these are the days to have that experience. And then tomorrow we will hash it all out again. <laughs> there is great love here for you. And as always, we remain in the vortex. <laughs> it's so good. You guys are so wonderful.